Hello there my fellow foodies and conversation enthusiasts. Today we are going to be whipping up a homemade shrimp burger with a side of conversational tips. How to talk to anyone. So someone recently asked me this question. What skill do you have that puts you in the top 1% of everyone in the world? His was water consumption and I thought about mine. It could be my ability to always have my arms moving when I'm talking. It could be my very double jointed thumb. But then I thought about it and I think it's my ability to talk to anyone. On my many years on this earth, I've met so many different people in my whole life and I've never really had an issue talking to people. Does that put me in the top 1%? I don't know, maybe not, but I know that one of the biggest things people struggle with now is social anxiety, talking face to face with people, we're so disconnected, COVID, all these things that have made it really difficult for us to connect now. So whatever small advice I could possibly give you guys, I'd love to share that today. And if it's not exciting enough, we're gonna make a delicious burger in the meantime. So what we're gonna need, some raw shrimp, I have thawed it already. We're gonna devein and throw them in a bowl. And while I do this lovely job, we'll begin with the first tip, have an open face. So at my local gym, I see the same faces all the time. We're always walking past each other. And over time, for me, I'm starting to build some connections, some friendships, and I realize that's because I have an open face. And what I mean by that, when I walk in a room, my head is held high, I look around and I'm making eye contact. But the problem is, when you walk in a room and your mind is closed off and you're nervous, you don't wanna make eye contact with people, and I understand how hard that is, especially in a gym, because you know there could be creepy people there. But So what I suggest, even if you don't feel your best, whenever you walk into a room, just remember to bring a back straight, head high, eye contact, and also when you're in these situations, social anxiety say we walk in a room we're trying to be confident have eye contact because Ben told us so but then suddenly we're overthinking what to do what to say and we're trapped in our thoughts so we can't just be present right so again it's a mind-body connection and once we take control and be aware of what's happening to our breath in those moments if our mind is fast mind-body connection our breath is fast if our breath is fast our heartbeat is fast and all these things we get stuck in a loop where the anxiety just keeps going it keeps repeating itself so wherever you can and in these moments, just take a breath. And I recommend just six seconds in through the nose, six seconds out, super simple. Three or four of those breaths will just center yourself. It will just bring some calm. The slow breath tells the heart to go slow and then we can be more focused and more confident wherever we go. So with that said, poop is out the shrimp. I'm gonna throw the shrimp in a bowl. Then I'm gonna get three cloves of garlic. Just give them a rough chop and throw them in. We need a nice green chili. Just about half, throw it in. We're gonna add a touch of fresh ginger. Beautiful, add that in. And then we're gonna add some freshly washed cilantro. Really get that freshness in there. Give it a little mix. And then we're gonna add this to a food processor. Do half at a time. Right, as you can see, the mix is looking lovely. So we're just gonna make these into little shrimp patties. The good thing about the shrimp is it binds so well together. We don't need the flour, we don't need any of that stuff. So as I turn these into lovely patties, I just wanna thank our sponsor for today's video, which is BetterHelp. You guys, I'm sure, have heard me talk about BetterHelp before, and I'm so grateful to work with such a wonderful company that I really truly believe in their mission. If for some reason you don't know who they are, they are a 100% online therapy platform, and look, their mission is to make therapy accessible, make it easy, make it affordable, and they do that, right? For me, I've been using their therapy service for a little while, and going to see a therapist, going out of your house, out of your comfort zone, to be vulnerable with a stranger, all these different variables stop us from doing that, right? And I've caught myself in that in the past, but now they make it so easy, and the, the small things, right? If you don't like your therapist, quite often we just assume, therapy's not for me, oh no, it's for other people. But it's just the fact that we didn't find someone that we can connect with, and that's really important. And luckily with BetterHelp, you can change therapists whenever you want. There's no stress, there's no fees. It's really simple. So this really is about what you guys want. And it's so easy. All you have to do is answer a few questions about your goals and needs, and BetterHelp will match you to a licensed professional in as little as a couple of days. If you guys are interested, click on the link below and you will get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com forward slash Jolliffe. That is better, H-E-L-P, forward slash Jolliffe. For now, we got the patties good. Let's throw them in the freezer for about 15 minutes, just so they get nice and congealed. 
You see guys, cooking requires precise attention, just like active listening. And active listening is one of the most profound lessons I've learned to really engage in a conversation because so often what we're doing, we're listening to respond. But I realized that when people used to talk and I'd be thinking about what I was going to say, I didn't know what they were saying. And it wasn't until I learned that people, humans love to talk about themselves. And if you allow them that space, if you purely listen to someone, they will love you for it. Someone can walk away from a 30 minute conversation not knowing anything about me, but they'd really like me because I allowed them that space. And of course it's a balance, but what I learned as well, you learn so much from listening, you know? And when you're just talking the whole time, you don't learn anything. And I think you can really tell the difference when someone is actively listening to you. There's eye contact, they're engaged, they're not on their phone, they're not gazing around the room, and that's so important to feel heard. And another way, say if you're in a conversation with someone and they say, hey, I've had a really stressful a week at work so often we reply with oh yeah me too because of xyz and we're trying to almost compare to see who's more stressed out so next time someone says i've had a really stressful week at work i would say i'm sorry to hear that tell me about it what's going on and that is just saying hey i'm listening let's further that and what that is doing is asking open-ended questions which is a lovely segue to our next one because it's horrible when we finally get that courage to have a conversation with someone and then we get stuck we don't know what to say we get in our head this is the thing we fear the most right that awkward silence that turns into nothing i would start a simple open-ended question like hey where are you from are you born and raised in la what's the deal there and if they say they're not from LA, they're from somewhere else, then I've got a whole bank of questions. Wow, so how's it living over here? What's the difference? Do you miss home? How often do you go home? What was it like being born and raised there? All these different questions, that's suddenly opening up to a new world. But then if they answered with, I was born and raised here, I've never left the town, I would have a series of questions there. How was it growing up here? If there was anywhere else you'd love to go live, where would that be and why? And then suddenly a couple of these questions can slowly open someone up and then suddenly you're having a deep conversation about someone's potential future. You could be the one to inspire them. And that just started with a series of open-ended questions. So I think next time it's important to ask a question that you think you can elaborate on. And so sometimes I like to play little games with myself just to keep that confidence going, keep that spark going because often like anything we stop doing for a while, it gets harder. So for me, every time I see a salesman or I'm in an Uber or something, I'll try and spark up a conversation, get to know the person, number one, they feel heard. You're listening to people's stories and that's how you really learn and how to have wisdom as a human to understand people's stories and what they've been through. But sometimes when we try this, we will be met with a brick wall or someone might give us a bad response back and that could deter us from wanting to do this. Why would I be kind if that's what I'm getting back? But it's so important not to judge. We don't know what people are going through. If someone can't smile or give you a positive response back, they might be going through something really difficult and just you trying, just you saying, hey, how's your day going? How are you? Even if people can't respond, you don't know how valuable that can feel to someone to feel heard, to feel like they're not alone. So I think it's so important to continually practice that. Always lead by example, not for the expectation to get something in return, but be kind to be kind and you will receive that. So with that said, the patties are nice. They are ready to be fried. Right, we'll get them nice and hot on a medium high heat. Then we'll add our shrimp burgers, which I'm very excited about guys, because everything in life, we must always show appreciation. If you've got nothing nice to say, don't say it. If you've got something nice to say, say it because that goes such a long way. People really appreciate appreciation. And look, I know how easy it is to, to bond with people over, let's say, gossip. You know, that is such an easy way to have a communication, have something flowing, but it's not a great way to start and you will attract the same kind of energy. If you just eject yourself from that and just don't engage with the gossip, very quickly people will stop going to you for gossip because when you show other people appreciation, they'll wanna hang out with you even more, you know? So let's get these burgers on. And we wanna fry these for about five minutes per side. I'm just gonna put the lid on so they cook through to the middle. Also guys, people really appreciate when you remember their name. I know, it's a really difficult one. I struggle with this so much. And you're supposed to what, remember their name 21 times and you'll remember it, but sometimes you don't have that time. You're, you're meeting five people at once and it's too much, you're too much in your head. So a visual that works for me, it's a bit random. It might not work for you, but I might as well share it. We're here for tips anyway, aren't we? I have a visual, I try and connect or match the names in whatever way I can. So the other day I met a man called Mick, M-I-C-K. So I thought, Mick, 
immediately thought of the Rolling Stones singer, Mick Jagger. So I thought, okay, there's the match. And I imagined Mick Jagger giving this new Mick a piggyback, running around the room. It's so random. It's such an unusual visual that every time I see this new Mick now, I imagine the Rolling Stones singer giving him a piggyback running around the room. I'm not gonna forget that. I'll always remember his name now because I got such a strong visual to it. It's a really interesting, unusual, but effective way to remember. Right, let's have a look at these. Give it a little turn. So I'm just gonna add the burger bun for about 30 seconds, just get those flavors really connected. Right, then we're ready to serve. Get our burger buns. I'm gonna make an Asian mayo. We've got some mayonnaise and a dash of sesame oil. It's just a wonderful little addition. Give it a cheeky mix. Lay the sauce down. Our lettuce, fresh slice of tomato, some red onions, our lovely shrimp burger. Top it with a touch of cilantro. Look at that guys, our wonderful homemade shrimp burger is ready to serve. Let's give this lovely homemade shrimp burger a go. You saw how easy that was. Now let's see how delicious it is. Mmm, that's so good. The shrimp, it's so clean. The ginger, the garlic, the chili, and the cilantro gives it such a, a fresh, light, slightly Asian vibe as well. And the mayo and sesame oil. This is delicious, guys. I must say, I mean, jeez. And last tip, guys, be yourself. As Oscar Wilde says, be yourself, everybody else is taken. Because authenticity is the most powerful, attractive energy to be around. And I understand we're all method actors in a way. We have these different masks, whether it's our job, our role, the way we speak to our parents, the way we speak to our friends. We change to, to fit into our environment. And sometimes that's needed, but sometimes that creates a barrier, a wall when you're talking to someone because they're not feeling that authenticity, who you truly are. And I struggle with this as well. I know it's really difficult to always be our true selves, especially if we're not feeling self-confident and we're in an awkward situation. I understand that. So whatever we can do to give ourselves a moment of calm, because when we're in these situations, we're not feeling confident, we're in our thoughts too much, we're thinking about what to do, what to say, we're trying to see ourselves through their lens, when in reality, if we can give ourselves that moment, take a few calm breaths, like I said before, so we can go back in the room, more focused, more present, so we can listen, so we can ask questions, so we can be curious and out of our own mind. So guys, I really hope some of these tips can help you guys. Please let me know below what you think you are in the top 1% off in the world. Thank you guys for your love and support as always. Thank you BetterHelp for the sponsorship, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.